Ready for the Telltale Wild. Playing Hanover with Jimmy Hackett. Way Wave with Ralph Baldwin. And Henry T. Adios with Stan Dancer. All right, Riley Couch opens the gate and Henry T. Adios breaks out on top. Playing Hanover and Way Wave follow. As they hit the back stretch, Henry T. Adios leads by a length. Lang Hanover is second and Way Wave is third. And they hit the quarter mark in 31 and 3 fifths seconds. Pretty good time for a fourth heat. Down the stretch they come to the half. Henry T. Adios leads Lang Hanover by a length. Way Wave is right there third. As they hit the half mile pole, we look at the clock. One, five and two fifths. As they race into the turn, Henry T. Adios, Lang Hanover and Way Wave. Wait for that final quarter to open up. Henry T. Adios still on the lead. Way Wave's not going to wait any longer. Way Wave is out and moving on the outside. As they go into the turn, it's Way Wave now challenging Henry T. Adios. They're nearing the three-quarter mark. Lang Hanover still hasn't come on. As they come to the three quarters, it's going to be Henry T. Adios by a half a length. Way Wave on the outside second, and Lang Hanover is third. They hit the three quarters in 136 and three fifths. In the turn, wheeling around, it's Henry T. Adios by a half a length. Way Wave second on the outside, and Lang Hanover is saving ground on the rail. As they come into the lane, it's Henry T. Adios, Way Wave and Lang Hanover. 40,000 people screaming now as Henry T. Adios comes into the stretch by a length now. And Lang Hanover is trying to come on the inside. Way Wave is off stride. It's Henry T. Adios going to get it all. Lang Hanover second. new king of the three-year-old Pacers, Henry T. Adios, still with plenty of pulling power left. It's driver Stanley Dancer's wedding anniversary, and what a wonderful place to celebrate with Mrs. Dancer in the winner's circle. Ohio Director of Agriculture, Robert Terhune, makes the trophy presentation to Dr. Nicholas Derrico, owner of the fleet son of Adios. Henry T. Adios was bred by the Skyline Stable of Dick Thomas, Somerville, New Jersey, and named after the famous late rangeman Henry Thomas. The Comeback Bay Colt was purchased as a yearling for $37,000 by Dr. Derrico. Today, as everything came up roses, Henry T. Adios returned another $21,721 on that original investment. The little brown jug was his cup of tea.